Would the client of your dreams be able to find you online? Are you more like Santa Claus? Or are you like Sleeping Beauty? Did your Uncle Jim sell his home on Lake Michigan and not use you? It is Sylvia Dana with EXP Realty in West Michigan. And I wanted to share what experienced agents won't teach you or show you about lead generation. I'm with EXP Realty in West Michigan. I'm a team leader and I'm a digital marketing trainer, especially in areas of KB Core. This is my very first podcast. And I just need to apologize ahead of time that I do not have good microphones yet or all that jazz, but I'm getting started with this. And you know, if you like it and I keep doing it, then I'll get all the fancy equipment. How is that? So uh, about a week or so ago, I went to Boston and I was invited by Tom Trung and his group there in Massachusetts, Boston, Massachusetts. They did a big event called uh, Make Your First Million in Real Estate. And they had all kinds of speakers. And I had the privilege and honor of joining them and had a great time speaking um, and sharing. And I got to train also the next day on KV Core um, at Tom's house with a bunch of his agents um, that have joined his group. And also agents um, that are not with EXP yet uh, coming to the training. So it was a great time. And uh, at the event, I spoke um, about what agents won't teach you about lead generation, but you know, a lot of the topics um, that others had already shared, I was kind of a, a repeat of, so I decided to change things up a little bit and then ended, ended up sharing my EXP story, which I will share with you uh, someday, but not today. Uh, what I am going to share with you though is uh, a recording I did when I came back from Boston of what I was going to teach in full. Now, I did share a lot of this at the event, um, but I, I didn't want to repeat myself too much uh, based on what others had already shared. So I decided to come home and record um, a video of exactly what I was going to share in full. And, um, and so then I decided, well, I'm going to make this a podcast as well because it's kind of perfect for a podcast because seeing my screen is not necessary. Now, I will say that in this podcast, because it was originally a video, um, I talk about you getting my top five free marketing strategies for realtors on demand class, and I show it a QR code. So what I just want to tell you is you can go to kbcorequeen.com. That will forward you to my on-demand training platform on my Kajabi platform. It's called the Sylvia System. And go there and find my on-demand training and find the top five free marketing strategies for realtors. This is a free class that you can opt in for. So, so that takes care of that. Now, let me just kind of preface this podcast uh, a little bit more. Um, you know, as you might know, I, I have a business, a side hustle, I'll call it, um, where we set up other agents' KB Core websites. We all also do like Facebook setups. We do agent intro video editing. Um, we have WordPress website setups, a um, variety of things. But um, I get a lot of calls from agents, as you might imagine. And uh, believe it or not, a lot of agents, when they're calling uh, specifically to ask about KB Core or how, you know, if I can set their KB Core up for them. Um, you know, they just ask me outright, like, hey, uh, you know, how is this going to benefit me? Like, how is even using KB Core going to benefit me? And, and uh, by the way, you know, am I instantly going to be successful <laughs> because you set this up for me? And, you know, you really have to look at your business so much more holistically than that. And so KB Core, yes, it's powerful, it's comprehensive, but it is just one of the tools in your toolbox and so you not only need to make sure it's set up for your success, just like any CRM type system, you have, there is a learning curve. There is a lot of setup. There's a lot of uh, time spent setting these types of systems up ahead of time. Um, but you then once it's set up, you've got to learn how to use it like in an ongoing way. But I think more importantly, 
And that's where this, this podcast episode is going. More importantly, you need to understand where you want it to take you. Why do you want to use Kiwi Core? What do you want it to do? Um, think about the different features it has and how it can help you get to your destination. So just like when you get in a car and you learn how to operate it, that's great. But if you don't know where you're going, if you don't know your desired destination, you're not going to get anywhere, right? So, so uh, sit back, enjoy, and let's get started. I want to ask you three questions. Ready? It's about your digital marketing. It's about your lead generation. First question, would the client of your dreams be able to find you online? A couple of years ago, I went to the movies by myself. It was to see Deadpool 2. I love Ryan Reynolds. And I, I loved the first Deadpool movie. And uh, I had to go see the second one. And it just turned out like, hey, I feel like going to the movies. I'm going to go. Went by myself, you know, sat in the front in the recliners. And it was the movie theater. You can get beer, you know, popcorn and recline. And, and I sat in front. And the person that was sitting next to me was a guy. Also going to the movie movies by himself. And, you know, right before the movie started, you know, we chatted and kind of hit it off and we're talking about, you know, Deadpool and Ryan Reynolds. All he knew about me, that I was a realtor in the area. That's it. At the end of the movie, we walked out, he shook my hand, he introduced himself. And I, and I told him my, my name, my first name, just my first name. And that was it. Later that night, I got an email. He didn't want to, he didn't want to buy a house or sell a house, but he was interested in me. <laughs> And, you know, he didn't turn out to be the client of my dreams or the man of my dreams, but he could have been, <laughs> but he found me. Why uh, did he find me? Because I was online and he knew enough about me. He knew I was a real estate agent. I lived and served in that area. And my first name was Sylvia. Those, that's all he knew. And he was able to Google me and find me and directly email me. So I'm wondering if that could happen for you. I'm going to be making sure you have my full class of top five free marketing strategies for realtors, but let me just give you the breakdown of how that can happen. You need to own your digital space. You need to create a strong and active Facebook business page, number one. Number two, you need to have a Google My Business page set up, and you need to have a website, a consumer-facing storefront website. Easy to start. I'm not trying to overwhelm you. Next, you want to claim all of your profiles in real estate, your Zillow profile. It's free to claim your Zillow profile. Realtor.com, Nextdoor, and a few others. You also want to leverage Realtor's property resource. This is RPR. So those of us in the United States, we have RPR. If you are a member of the National Association of Realtors, you have access to this. Best thing ever. Um, if you're in Canada, you have something called Geo Warehouse. Anyway, you're going to use this resource to showcase your knowledge for market reports, expertise in the local market, home evaluations. And you're going to be able to leverage this online to show your expertise. You're also going to learn to get consistent with blogging and email marketing. Super important. And you can use tools from BreakthroughBroker.com. Um, if you're an EXP, we've got expmarketingcenter.com, which is basically built on the Breakthrough Broker platform. But if you're not with EXP, ask me about it. If you are with EXP, go to expmarketingcenter.com. And if you're not with EXP, go to BreakthroughBroker.com. Okay. You're going to build brand familiarity with video on social media, and you're going to get consistent with your social media posting schedule. So that's how you're going to get found online and meet the client of your dreams. I'm just going to point you in this direction, QR code this. This is my free class. It's on demand. Top five free marketing strategies for realtors. I've also got five tips for using video with KB Core and beyond social media. So even if you're not using KB Core, this will be helpful and how to create and send a custom email newsletter from KB Core. So get this free class bundle. Now you can QR code it and get it for yourself. It's worthwhile. Next question. Are you more like Santa Claus or are you like Sleeping Beauty? Do you know when your clients have been bad or good? Do you know when your clients 
are sleeping? Do you know when they want to buy a house and when they don't? <laughs> Do you know when they want to sell a house and when they don't? Or are you just kind of waiting for your Prince Charming client to give you a kiss on the lips and, and wake you up so you can sell them a house? Which one is it? I had uh, somebody call me earlier this week, another agent saying, hey, uh, you know, because we do a KB course setup business. I have a, that as a side hustle. Uh, hey, uh, well, when you set up my KB core, um, are just clients going to start calling me and, and emailing me and texting me so they can buy or sell a house? And I'm like, oh, yeah, sure, buddy. <laughs> and you're taking a, the right step in the right direction, but you have a job to do. You are not a robot and you got to make some calls. You're in sales. But let's talk about that. What you want to do to make sure that you know what's going on with your clients or prospects and new leads. So you just need to use an all-in-one marketing platform. Just one. When I started using KB Core, I was very stubborn. I thought to myself, I'm still going to use my regular CRM I've been using for a couple of years now. And uh, it took me a long time to finally put all of my sphere, all of my leads, all of my past clients into this one lead generating system lead nurture system, KB Core. And when I finally did, my whole world changed. Um, I could see everything that was going on with my people. I could see when Dwayne Johnson opened up his email and what properties he looked at. And I could call Dwayne and say, hey, Dwayne, saw that you checked out a property. What you thinking? What are you thinking about? What's going on? Anything new? And not only did it give me an opportunity and reason to call my past client, my sphere, um, but find out kind of where they are in their real estate journey. So put all your leads and contacts and sphere into a CRM. That's an all-in-one system. Okay. Add them to campaigns, search alerts, birthday and home anniversary messages, home valuations. You can do, do all this in KB Core and you might have a system yourself you're using that you can do this in. Be a gift giver like Santa. Provide value with email, with video with social media, snail mail, and text marketing. Provide value. And call your leads. Let them know. Check in on them. Contacts, prospects, sphere. Know their time frame. You know, what? With, you can do this with a survey. You can do this just with a check-in call, a little text nudges. And again, leverage RPR for mailing them valuations, market reports. Invite them to action. Invite them to get their instant home value. In, invite them to come to a home buyer seminar. Invite them to search for homes in, in a specific niche. Be Leopold. What do I mean by that? You see that movie, Kate and Leopold? I love that movie. Hugh Jackman though, right? Leopold is from like 1876. He's, he's traveled to the future somehow through the Brooklyn Bridge or something. He's talking to Kate's brother and Kate is, Kate's brother is talking about how he's, you know, into this girl and he called her, left her voicemail or whatever. And now the ball's in her court. Hugh Jackman, Leopold's like, oh no, no, no. The point is to keep the ball in your court. And so that is what it is for us as real estate agents, as salespeople, keep the ball in our court, keep pursuing our prospects, our sphere. Let them know we are into them. Okay, <laughs> so be Leopold this is a very specific question, but I'm curious. Did your uncle Jim sell his home on Lake Michigan and not use you? That happened to me. Why? Why'd that happen? Well, I didn't put myself in front of my friends and family and spirit. I, I number one, I assumed that um, if they needed me, they would use me. And I didn't put myself in front of them as an expert in real estate, as somebody who knew what they were doing, as somebody who was credible, somebody who was providing them value, somebody who could tr truly help them. So let's talk about that. Do you really deserve free leads? Do you deserve paid leads? Do you deserve any leads that you get? Well, here's your barometer. Number one, does your sphere know that you're in business? Do they feel serviced by you? Do they feel like they are your VIPs? Have you conveyed a perception of competence through the value you're giving through phone calls or video marketing, email marketing, social media posts? Are your actions, thoughts, and attitudes telling the universe that you are open for business? 
And that is a real thing, no matter where you fall on the spirit, spirituality scale, um, you when you put it out there that yes, I'm, I'm open for business universe, I'm ready to receive business, then things start coming, things start flowing. So have you done that? Now, if you get a lead, do you, do you know what to do with it? That's a question I get. Sylvia, when I get a lead, what do I do with it? I don't know. If you get a dog, should you walk it? Think about it, people. Yes, you want to pursue them. Make your prospect feel pursued. Does that mean you call them and text them and email them and all the things? Friend them on social media. Working that lead is what you got to do. Are you willing to spend a little money? Because you might need to spend some money to, to generate more leads. Now, I believe that when you start in real estate or you relaunch your real estate business or get serious about your business, that your first few deals in the next six months should be from your sphere, people you already know, because you've put it out there to them. You've done these things. You've made them feel like VIPs. You've given them value. You've, been, you've conveyed com your, the competence. You've um, instilled confidence in them about you because of the value you provided. Then, you know, you might want to spend some money to get more leads. Okay. That's something you can do. And are you willing to do the activity online to generate free and low cost leads? What do I mean by that? That means, are you posting squeeze page links and landing page links out there on the interwebs to drive people to your website? Are you willing to do that work? Can you get creative? to leverage your listings or someone else's listing so you can generate more leads? Are you actually prospecting daily and following up? And have you taken time to put your systems in place and taken time to learn how to control your systems? Now, I'm not saying you have to have everything lined up and organized before you start selling houses. That's ridiculous. You can't. You have to just go. You have to jump in. You have to just not know what's going to happen on the other side and do it, but you can work towards it. Okay. Um, I'm not perfect. My systems aren't perfect, but you can work towards it so you can take more control over your business. So why use KB Core? It's your web IDX. It's so the client of your dreams can find you. It's your lead gen platform. It's because you do deserve free leads if you're willing to do the work. It's your automation center. It's your marketing automation center so that your Uncle Jim does buy or sell with you next time. And it gives you some tools so that you can channel your inner Leopold and put the ball in your court. All right. So that is my very first podcast episode, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, one thing I wanted to point you in the direction of is my YouTube channel, where I have tons of training about KB Core and a variety of digital marketing topics. And um, if you go to YouTube and search me, you can find me by searching Think Future Real Estate. So Think Future, one word, like together. <laughs> think Future Real Estate two words, separate, with Sylvia Dana. Think Future Real Estate with Sylvia Dana. It's also going to uh, have a link in the description of this particular episode if you're able to find that. Um, you can also find me at sylviadana.com. You can also find me at kbcorequeen.com and find my YouTube channel that way. Anyway, I hope you got some benefits from listening if you do have any questions, I hope you let me know. And I hope that if you are curious about EXP Realty, if you're not with EXP, I hope you definitely ask me. Thanks so much and have a great day.